What did you do? Go out in your yard and clip some grass? I get that a lot. Even though there are several edible things out in your yard, this is not one of them. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what microgreens are. Microgreens are actually tiny seedlings of any vegetables like broccoli and radish, and herbs like cilantro and basil. Even edible flowers like sunflowers and nasturtiums. Microgreens are actually harvested between day seven and 14 when they're one to three inches tall. Another great way to understand what microgreens are is you start with a sprout. Most people know what sprouts are. You grow them in jars um, three to five days. Well, your microgreens are just the next stage of the plant's life cycle. You grow them seven to 14 days. And then as the plant goes on, you have your baby plant and then you have your adult vegetable. So microgreens are at the stage of the plant's life cycle where they are the most nutrient dense. So why would we want to include microgreens into our meals and our daily diet? Well, microgreens are high in vitamins and minerals as well as antioxidants. We need all those things to help us fight off chronic diseases such as cancer, diabetes, heart disease. Microgreens actually became popular back in the late 1970s and early 80s from chefs. Chefs absolutely love microgreens as they use them as a garnish to enhance the beauty in their plates as well as they love the strong intense flavor as they paired really well with all of their dishes. As more research started coming out about microgreens, consumers like you and I wanted to get our hands on it. According to WebMD, microgreens are actually 40 times more nutrient dense than the adult vegetable. Varieties like red cabbage actually have 40 times more vitamin E, six times more vitamin C, 70 times more vitamin K, and 260 times more beta carotene. Another reason why we should be eating these tiny greens is because they're easy to digest. How many of you try to eat all your vegetables and you feel bloated and gassy afterwards? Try microgreens, they're easier to digest and they actually improve your gut health. As well as, they're so tiny, see, and so pretty. <laughs> But they're so tiny that maybe you have some picky husbands or kids that are like, mm, I'm not going to eat vegetables. They're so tiny. You could sneak them in <laughs> and start in introducing them that way. But I guarantee that once you try microgreens and um, you introduce them to your family, they're going to absolutely love them. So now that we know what microgreens are and how beneficial they are to our health, now, how do you use microgreens? Well, like I said, chefs love to use them as garnishes, but you could put them in your soups, your salads, your sandwiches, your wraps, your pizzas, your tacos. Possibilities are actually endless on how you can use microgreens. And another great way that you can eat microgreens is raw, which is exactly how my kids like to eat them. There's sunflower shoots, which have a nice nutty flavor that is just so good for snacking. Or your pea shoots, which my kids just love to go by and grab and eat. So where can you find microgreens? Well, you can find them most health food stores. You can check out your local farmer's markets. I guarantee you have a microgreens farmer in your area. But if not, why don't you grow your own? Check out barefootmicrogreens.com and check out our beginner grow kits and you can start growing them yourselves for your family and maybe profit.
Remember to like and subscribe to our videos. Leave a comment below. Do you want to grow micro -green?